Okay. Today, we are going to navigate the dunes here and talk about stem cells. If there's one reason you want to drive fast, it's for what happens with your stem cells. Let's talk about stem cells for a second. How do you think you went from 24 billion cells at birth to 34 trillion cells at age 25? Hey, I just ate yourself to that size, right? <laughs> kind of. When you're an embryo, you're an embryo of stem cells, pluripotent stem cells with telomerase. So it didn't matter how many times those cells had to reproduce themselves, the telomerase repaired the telomeres, and they just kept going and going and going. But what that particular group of stem cells represents is the stem cells now in your body. So how did you grow this big 25-year-old body? Well, it turns out these stem cells from your embryogenesis had the code to grow all the different types of organs and all the different types of niches, about 220 or so different organs and structural niches to produce a body that starts small and gets tall. And the way it does that is by reproducing the cells that now are the somatic cells. The stem cells have grown cells to make your somatic system, which now has a certain amount of telomeres that they can erode by replication to last or not, to end or go senescent. <laughs> and just like any cell in the body, even your stem cells can go senescent. So let's talk about stem cells and why it's so important to drive faster. If you want a stem cell infusion, it's going to cost you twenty-five dollars to $30,000. You have to fly out of the country. You have to do all these crazy things, find hotels and all this stuff. And <laughs> pretty expensive. The problem with the uh, stem cell therapies is the quality of the stem cells you get. Are they yours? There's the first question. If they're not yours, you're taking a risk. Because if you're not your, your genetic match, you risk rejection. The other thing is they are not really the safest way to do it because if you just drive fast and get rid of glycogen production in about two days you turn off an enzyme called protein kinase a and what that it does is acts as a switch to start talking to these little wnt proteins wnt proteins determine whether somatic cells replicate or stem cells replicate and depending on your nutrient status like starvation for instance <laughs> Uh, yeah, those went proteins turn on stem cells, but at the same time they turn off somatic cells because you don't want your somatic cells replicating while you're trying to replicate your stem cells too. It's a safeguard. But what happens is on the first day, your stem cells in their niches reproduce, and those those two reproduce two more cells, four more cells, eight more cells, until one cell can produce a number of replicants in this transit amplifying phase leading to progenitor, leading to differentiation. And that's happening every day when you get to that point. So every single day, your stem cell niches are producing a new crop of stem cells for that niche to go into that niche and fix all the things in your organs or your kidneys or your heart or your brain or your eyes. System-wide. You can't do that with stem cell therapy provided by these medical associations out of the country because you're only going to get one type of stem cell, maybe a bone stem cell, maybe a fat stem cell. That's not all the genes that you need to produce yourself. So that's one of the biggest things is when you go into this phase, you produce a new you and you have to because your somatic cells will wear out. Their telomeres will wear out and you will not be able to keep going and you'll get gossamer thin and start getting smaller and smaller and weaker and weaker because you've never turned your stem cells on to replace those cells with copies that they need in their niches to maintain mass. You're going to lose mass as you age if you don't activate your stem cells. Also, your stem cells will go senescent if you don't activate them to replicate because only when they open up, only when they unzip their chromosomes, can any of the damage be repaired by all PARP and, and sirtuins and base repair enzymes and all this stuff. You've got to give them time to repair, too. So that's my message today. We do drive fastly for stem cells. It is the number one reason 
we do continual dry fasts. The first one solves tons of problems. It goes without saying. Now, yearly, you can regenerate yourself and become younger and last longer. All the Russian doctors say at least one dry fast gives you another 20 years, 25 years onto your lifespan. I'm working on health span too. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and I will talk to you on the next topic. Oh, very well. Yes.